Good morning, everybody. Um, Two Universal Studios is still down for a bit, so we'll be playing some, uh, let's see, Majora's Mask, I think, will be good. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Had a good rest, which was good. Nothing better than sleep, that's for sure. Okay. So yeah, we'll just be exploring some Termina Field while I talk to you guys. Yeah, I remember when I remember when I first played Majora's Mask. It was on the uh, GameCube. One thousand two hundred forty three rupees, great. So yeah, um I remember when I first played Majora's Mask I used to button mash so I didn't know exactly what to do. Learn the hard way that way. This game you actually have to take time to read the dialogue and get to know the people. It's very, very interesting. Good enough dilly dallying. Yeah, so this morning for breakfast I had potato salad and then I had some American cheese. I don't know why some people hate American cheese. I think it tastes pretty good. Then again, I did grow up with government cheese for a while in my youth, so that would make sense. Government cheese is actually pretty good, as long as you cook it properly. I think, anyway. I never came from money growing up, although I did put on airs and pretend. Truth is, we're just, I'm just as common a regular person as you and as you guys watching. I think I heard a cow. That was cute. I like these choo choos because of their design. Oh, the sun was in my eyes. I honestly like Link. I think he's got to be one of my favorite characters of all time at Nintendo next to Samos. I like Samus because she's a lot like Link. Very, very courageous when it comes to fighting. And she's very intellectual. Link's very intellectual when it comes to solving puzzles. I think Link's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm a huge Zelda nut. The first game I ever played was The Wind Waker, I believe, and it wasn't really my favorite. When I started playing the 64 Zelda titles, I fell in love with them instantly. They had just the right amount of difficulty. They didn't hold your hand. They were a lot of fun. Oh, this is a cool part. Thank you. You stole them from a crow. Awesome. Yeah, I seem to have a really deep love for The Legend of Zelda. To be fair, this is actually one of the first uh, GameCube games I ever actually played. Well, not GameCube, but like, first console game I ever played was 
The Legend of Zelda. There's a real bomb too. Those things are jerks. You guys can tell. Yeah, let's let's get going back. Yeah, I seem to have a knack for Majora's Mask because it's very symbolic in many ways. Because for so many years I wore a mask in the sense I wore a mask of like hiding who I was, and it was not one of not one of my favorite things to do in my youth. But now I'm free to express myself, which is good. Self-expression is very vital when it comes to a happy life. At least I think so. So yeah, I also had some turkey. I love turkey. My friend from England, I believe her name is Kate. She doesn't really like, I don't think they have too much turkey in that country. It's kind of like an imported item. It's still pretty cool though. I love my turkey. And she has snacks in England that like, I wish we could have over in the States. Pretty amazing stuff. I actually hear that in China, there's a McDonald's that sells green tea ice cream. I really want to go there at least once in life. I love China. It's a beautiful country. People there are very friendly. I hear that if you speak a little bit of Mandarin, they'll tell you that your Chinese is very good. So my sister tells me. She went there once. She went to Beijing because she went on a mission trip to Indonesia with my sister Kat. She brought back some durian flavored candy and I liked it. I also like liverwurst too. Like a lot of stuff that people seem to not like, I seem to love. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing with me. Same with games. There's a lot of games that people don't like. Like that scene baby guy from the... Uh, E1 magazine. I usually looked at the games he didn't like and decided to play them myself. And to my surprise, I wasn't really that disappointed. Don't take a critic's word for granted. Okay. Well, everybody, I'm going to go back in time now. And then we're going to save at the owl statue. I love Majora's Mask, though, because of its, like, not because of its dark things, but because of its symbolism of letting go of facades and healing yourself and making others happy along with yourself. It's always interest me. But in many ways, I can relate to what Link's going through. Just not the saving the world part. <laughs> Though to be fair, as a teenager, I thought I would save the world. I had a bit of a hero complex growing up. Now I have more of a Jonah complex. It comes from, like, the, in my past, I was psychologically and emotionally abused by a few people. And um, it came to the point where, like, I developed the hero side of the um, trauma. That makes sense. Yeah. But enough talk about that. I'm going to upload this onto YouTube now. And uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. Have a good morning, and we'll be playing some Toontown a little bit later. Hopefully, Tooniverse will come back up. And uh, then we'll be playing some Pirates of the Caribbean Online, um, or Legend of Pirates Online, Neverwinter, Corporate Clash, and uh, DDO. And maybe some Lord of the Rings Online. So have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.